As I describe in my blog, I have served this airport already a year ago. At that time, I was flying with a Cessna 340ii. Today I choose the Carinado model B200 King Air. Taken basically both aircraft, they have similar characteristics, and shows in accordance with the landing, same similarities. It was thus more a repetition training for me. This time, I had a flight scheduled to start from St. Barthelemy to St. Martin Island with landing on the Princess Juliana Airport TNCM Airport and back again to TFFJ, landing on runway 10, coming from the hillside. two different ways to land on St. Barthelemy. One way is to land coming from the hillside. This approach is not so easy as it may look, especially because of the down-sloped, short runway. The other way to land is the approach from the bay side. This approach is very difficult to fulfill because the bay is a small one and the runway lies in an unfavorable angle. Pilots must, just before landing, straighten the aircraft and has no distance to glide over the runway. In addition, the upward slope runway may help to stop the aircraft, but it can mislead the pilot about his landing height and the tailwind can be an additional disturbing factor. It comes at the landing essentially on the fact to fly in low altitude and speed while gliding down the hills and if available to use the reverse thrust. One has to note that the upwardly flowing headwind can lift the landing airplane short before touchdown so that you may miss the runway for too long time and distance. 
In this case, you must immediately start a second approach. Thank you.